Sports parents, should you ever intentionally choose not to go to your kids' games? All right, if you're new here, I'm Dan Blewett. I'm a former pro baseball player, and on my channel here, I talk about baseball skills, mental skills, and the youth sports environment at large. In today's video, let's talk about attendance at your kids' games. So number one, let's just jump right into it. It is important to be encouraging to your kids to show up for them, to show that you care. And I've seen tons and tons of families where the parents are extremely devoted, and it's really heartwarming to see that. My parents came to so many of my games, even as a professional. It was just always always important that they were there. I'd see them in the stands. They're just always encouraging. I can't tell you how much that safety net and knowing that they supported me and loved me no matter how I played on the field, how important that is just in, in, in all facets of my life. Now, that said, youth sports the way they are today, they're incredibly demanding on a family. You have one kid playing travel basketball, one kid playing travel soccer, another kid playing travel baseball and you're running around everywhere trying to get to all these different games. And a lot of times it just completely wears the family as a whole out. It can be straining on a marriage. It can be straining between parents and kids and obviously straining financially and time wise. So I want you as a parent to give yourself a break and understand that you don't have to be at every one of your kids games. That doesn't make you a bad parent. It doesn't make you not supportive of them. In a lot of ways, it can show your kid that, hey, you do have your own life too. You have your own things that are important, like, hey, maybe you need to go uh, you know, on date night with your husband or with your wife or whoever, and you need to get out there and do things that keep you happy so that you can still continue to have emotional energy to show up for your kids. If you're always stuck at the field every summer weekend because there's constantly baseball tournaments, that just can be really straining. You don't get to do the things that you wanna do as well. Everyone in the family as, as a whole needs to focus on all of your well-being, right? Not just your kids. It's great to be selfless, but everyone needs to have their own things that help them stay healthy and happy as well. And that includes you as parents. I think it also gives coaches some breathing room and it gives your kids some breathing room, right? Sometimes it's nice to feel like, hey, no one here is all that invested in how I play today. It can let your kids play a little looser and play a little more relaxed. Even if you're really encouraging, sometimes your kids are still wound up because they really wanna impress mom and dad no matter what. So sometimes just like not being there, it's just like, hey, whatever happens, happens. No one's here to criticize. No one's here to be disappointed. Even if my parents are always encouraging, you know, they still want to see me have a really great game. So the fact that they're not there can take some pressure off. So I think it's important just to remember that too, that there is some independence that you get when you know that no one in your family's there. And I think that can be a positive thing in a lot of instances. Of course, there's a lot of parents who yell too much or who, who are too critical or who are put a lot of pressure on their kids. And I think if you're watching this video, you're going to have to have some self-reflection to wonder, is that me? And if I do put a lot of pressure on my son or daughter, is it positive to give them some days off from that? I think that's a really important thing to think about yourself and maybe ask your spouse or ask some other parents who will be honest with you. Hey, do you feel like I put a lot of pressure on my kid? And if so, um, you know, what do you suggest I go about changing it? And of course, obviously, some of that can be your attitude, but also just like taking some games off so that they can breathe can be a positive. And lastly, I think one of the benefits of not showing up to your kids' games here and there is that it gives you a chance as a parent to disconnect from your fear of failure and all of the anxiety that you have watching your kid play. My parents were always really, really nervous watching me play because they want to see me do well. And, you know, they were just, wow, especially in, in pro baseball, 5,000 fans all rooting against me if I was on the road. Those are high pressure situations. And it can just give you a chance to decompress from that and disconnect from that um, if you're just staying at home and again, taking care of yourself, having a nice day off, watching football, go for go for a run, go for a picnic, play around a golf, whatever it is. Give yourself some breathing room to disconnect from your own anxiety and your own fears about your son or daughter not performing in their best, being disappointed and failing because sports are hard. They can be really heartbreaking and it gives you an emotional break when you take some time off. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. I'm trying to make more videos for sports parents because as a former baseball and softball academy owner, you know, we had our own teams and I've seen all these different dynamics between parents and kids and families. And it's important just to discuss a lot of these different things. And I know there's not a lot of support out there for you parents. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below, share it with a friend, and I'll see you here in the next one.